Hi everyone, this is Donna's Whimsical Treasures and today I want to share with you a hoop that I made. And the first one that I had made, I had made it out of fabric. And this one I wanted to use the paper line. Let me just check the name so I tell you the right name. I wanted to use the Misty Rose collection for this one. So most of everything you're going to see has that p paper, unless it has lace or trim. And let's get into what I've done here, fun, what fun I had. Because what I did first was I created this particular piece first. Just a whole bunch of goodness on here. Uh, it, this is layers and layers of of ephemera and and different things and cutouts and fabrics and laces and trims and a little deer over here and flowers and hearts and a bird over here and tickets and and cards and and a phone over here and this one says hugs and down here leaves and and a, a rosette here and a doily here and another doily here and a, down here another rosette it's a it's a complete um, work up there of beautiful things put together so that it would give a nice fancy look to the front and under here you if you can see it has the paper from um, the rose gold collection over here in the corners and I did it on both sides I have put a double applique and little cabbage on some pink light pink pearls I put down the uh, on these little dangle trims and on the little dangle trims you have these little rhinestones to make it stand out and the same is on this side and they're hanging down over here and then um, I put this pretty lace you won't be able to see it too well because this is the staying on it but once I take out what's up here you'll be able to see a little bit better the hoop itself over here on the hoop I put a couple of trims there's a trim up here and there's another one on the side and then there's this other one which comes out and flares out along the edge and on top of that I put uh, white pearls and over here on the side I put pink pearls let's take it apart as best we can and I made her some um, tags uh, the, this uh, the person who's receiving this it, it was her birthday recently so I made a pretty tag that says birthday bash it has this pretty girl and it has these pretty little uh, ornate designs on it lace trim and all sorts of stuff if I go into everything that you're going to see we will be here quite a while but that's that one and I'm going to put it off to the side and here's another one this one has a heart shape and it has a, a rosette a tiny rosette on the phone and flowers and butterfly and all of this is from the Misty Rose collection the paper line also is from there some sweet trim on the bottom and flat back pearls and these are also from that collection and up here I put some tulle and this pretty little capuchon. This is the back of the paper line of one of the papers. It's fancy in the front and then in the back it's a little more casual so that it, it looks really nice. And then over here I made this pretty envelope. And what I did with it is I decorated it with some other paper line. And I, ma I made a de uh, deer with the same paper butterfly uh, this is some fancy paper that i had picked up from i think it was joanne's and i cut out the word love and i used a little bit of this other paper i cut out a doily and i had some edging and so i just used it over here off to the side to make a nice rim and over here i put a double bow with one of the cabbage ones that looks really pretty and along back there's another cutout and I stained it somewhat. I forgot what I put in here. But I always do this so that it could be reusable. And in here, oh, I put some goodies for her. My puppy's walking around making noise, so I'm sorry about that. There's a, some of these inside of this. And I just ripped that, but I'll fix it before I send it up. So we have some of those in there. Then I used the, the large graphic 45 die for the tags. And this is how long it is. Let me tell you how long it actually is because, you know, I haven't measured it since I got it. It's about nine and a half inches long, roughly. It's a nice size. And 
And it says never stop dreaming and it has this pretty cascade of little flowers. And what I did was I secured them and I put little pearls in the center. And up here it says happy. And I got this from Hobby Lobby. And a pretty butterfly from the paper line. Up here you have a tool bow and you have this pretty flower. And over here I put an envelope. And inside the envelope I put little tags and they are removable, the tags. If she wants to take them out or she can leave them there. And then I put this little cabbage on which is a clip and you can take that off too if she wants to. And over here more flowers from the line. And here on the back I papered it. You can barely see it but I'm going to pull it down so you can see it better. I put this pretty bow that I made and a cabbage on in the middle. And here you can uh, admire a little bit the paper of the collection, really pretty. And the white pearls I had told you about and the trim that I put here. And off to the side I had told you, I put the pink pearls there off here on the side. So the front fits uh, these pretty tags, but it didn't fit much. So then what I did was along the back, I made another pocket and I'll show you now. I made another pocket out of the collection. It doesn't sit flat because of the ornate thing I put in the front. So I'll have to hold it up for you and I'll do the best I can to show you. But here you have an idea of the pocket. And I made sure I made it with enough space so that goodies could fit inside. So it has about an inch or two inches of a pleat on the, either side so that I can put some goodies inside. And besides this, of course, you can put loose goodies, so that's how I do it. I fit what I could in here, and then I put the rest just loose. And so um, these are some of the things I put inside, and I dressed it up with some flowers and birds and so forth, some cutie things. Here's another one, and this one also. This one has a perfume bottle up here on the top, and uh, one of those pretty cake liners, and a flower that I made, and some cutouts of leaves that I put together. And it has these different tags inside. I also got a little package of these for her. I didn't make these, I bought these, and it has a perfume bottle, and it has a bird, and some flowers and leaves. Very cute. And this is one of the bags and I decorated the bag for her and I put one of these and it comes off easily so she could reuse it or she could reuse the bag. What I put on the bag was a little piece of tape here to seal it to keep inside of it what I have in there. And then over here we have some pink buttons, a pack of pink buttons and it has a, a um, a perfume bottle and another rosette and some pretty pink trim also and here is the last one that I put in here the rest is loose in in bags inside the box I put one of the flowers of the collection I put the word love I use one of those pretty rosettes again more of the paper over here a doily back here a phone uh, the one of the birds is up here and some flowers here and here's some streamer and flatbacks in white over here on the side so that one came out really nice so when it's empty it looks like this and this is the back of the one of the papers it's two-sided papers the misty rose so that makes it really nice so that you can actually um, not worry once it's empty if it's gonna look bare, it doesn't. So now you can see the front a lot easier because I took out everything that was inside. Let me know what you think of it and I hope she likes it. Have a great day everybody, bye!